Hello there, everybody. Welcome to a very special sequel, or prequel, to a game that I still contend is one of the craziest, best experiences in gaming I've had ever. Of course, I'm talking about the game yesterday. What a bonkers game that was. Well, Yesterday Origins has come out, and I have had this game on my desktop for what is far too long. I have not played it yet. I'm really excited to. I now have the time. I feel like we need to jump in and see what the hell this game is about. Because if you remember the first one, it was this weird mix of kind of jank and kind of crazy and kind of weird and kooky and fun and everything I love about video games. And I felt like it was, I'm going to say, one of the best games I've ever played. It was entertaining as hell. This one, I'm hoping will be the exact same. I mean, look at this so far. We got the yesterday symbol, what appears to be Satan, chilling out near the statues from the Dark Portal in Warcraft. I I couldn't tell you what this game is going to be about, but um, hopefully that is, that is why it's going to be amazing. Uh, what does that mean? What? I'm getting a symbol? This game's already insane. <laughs> wait, wait, what? I guess we'll start. I'm... Show tips. Do you want to activate the tutorial? Uh... Sure. I'm not sure why now the game requires me to use a controller. Like, it will not let me use my mouse. I don't... The other one wasn't like that, was it? Or maybe it was, and I just... I don't know. I don't know. I just... <laughs> this is what you're going to get for the rest of this entire playthrough. Me saying, I don't know. Yeah, this is definitely a prequel. Look, it's the Duke's son. No, that's Satan's son. That's quite possibly the worst case of mistaken identity. Kill him. Dwellers of Villa de Fontenegra, behold the power of the Inquisition. No son of Satan will ever escape the wrath of God. Not even he who hides in noble garments. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Dying is simple, as you probably already know. Oh, what? Shut up, you murdering swine. I'll give you good reason to squeal when I start torturing you. Unfortunately, the Inquisition is anything but simple. Is this Spain? I have questions about his association with this Inquisition. Okay, so, oh, oh. Oh, I like the move mechanic, this is good, all right. So, I guess we should look here. Use that to cycle through. Okay, my available options. Interesting. Oh, I can't mouse over it, huh? <laughs> I really want to mouse over stuff. That's sort of the whole point of a point and click, not a up and A. Although this could be a new genre, the old up and A. Um, sure, what is this? This very morning, Inquisition guards appeared before your father, the Duke. They read an order to take you prisoner and you were accused of being the devil's son. Well, with a mask like that, you're just asking for trouble. Someone had told them that you can read, write, understand, and speak any foreign tongue. Well, that's an asset. You are the Duke's son. That's called an education. Then your current jailer showed you a hood with horns, and your Via Crucis started. Some panels contain hotspots. 
to indicate. Oh, oh, what? Okay. Dear Antlers, let you enter the nine worlds, the nine branches of the tree named Yggdrasil. Dear Antlers, yeah, okay, Yggdrasil. A crow's beak. If the dove is holy, the crow is the opposite. Alright, I guess that's it for this panel. Iron Maiden! Most excellent! More than once playing in the Duke's fields, you've pricked yourself on brambles. If your escape fails, you'll feel the same pain only a thousand times stronger. I guess I can't look at this one. Well, I mean, I can look at it, but not in detail. What is that noise? What is that noise right there? That's not... That's not your normal dungeon noise. That is... Maybe this guy's right. Maybe you are in league with the devil. If this is what you're hearing, if what you hear is... That you are definitely in league with Satan. The Spanish Inquisition banner. There is no way anyone from this game is related to Spain in any shape and form. Maybe there's the fan of the Spanish Inquisition itself. Maybe that's the league they're talking about. The fo The football. The ancient football league. Oh, that's the league you're in. You're in the Satan leagues. It's just like FIFA. Ubaldino? His name's Baldino? His name is Ubaldino? De Malantunez. His name's Ubaldino? That looks like an Ubaldino. Torturer and executioner of the Spanish Inquisition. Talk and explore. Let's... Can I explore him? That seems weird. That seems weird to say. Can, can I explore him a little bit? A scar crosses his face. What kind of man can survive a cut like that? Any decent movie character. Oh, it doesn't seem like that bad of a scar. Alright, so I can go... Oh god, I don't want to keep going down on this guy. Red stains. They come with the job. Yep, nope. I don't want to look at his belt or his hand. I guess I have to. Okay. Whoop. Your head could fit in that belt buckle. Stop this! It's already dirty enough. How many throats have been strangled by those heads? Stop it! Damn you, game! Uh, he drinks like there's no tomorrow. Can we... I guess that's it, huh? All right. And then we've got this. Uh oh. Beer. How can the god drink so much and not lose consciousness? Ubaldino is tough. Don't mess with his ass. Okay, so I guess we can talk to him? You gather your courage before talking to the jailer. Demand in the name of the Duke. Bribe with riches. Um. In the name of the Duke. My name is Miguel de Castro, son of Don Alvaro de Castro, Duke of Fuentenegro. I order you in his name. Set me free at once. I'm definitely uh, Spanish. You're in no position to give orders, Don Miguel. You can only have one father, and your ability to understand every language indicates that your true father is the devil himself. Hence, the Duke has disowned you before the Inquisition. This news hits you harder than rocks thrown by the crowd. You've lost everything you had. Your father, mother, home, clothes, a future? No. You still have your will and intelligence. Pull yourself together. You'll survive. Threaten in the name of Satan. <laughs> I mean, this guy definitely... Tempt with supernatural powers? Oh, yeah. Although he's going to be like, temptation, that's the work of the devil. And if I threaten him, he's going to be like, yep, knew it. And if I say I'm innocent, he's going to be like, no, you're not. None of these are going to help me, but um, I kind of want to see what happens if I do this. You're right. I am the spawn of Satan. So set me free, mortal, or I swear your descendants will be cursed forever. You swear in vain, Don Miguel. 
Genesis don't move me. Unlike the Cretans in his superstitious village, I don't believe in the existence of God or the devil. Oh, he's a skeptic. Oh, so we can find out information of... Interesting. Report to Inquisition? Then the Inquisition will be very happy to hear about your absence of faith. You'll be pleased to know that this is exactly why the Inquisition hired me. So many prisoners down here threaten me with their satanic powers. A superstitious man would have fallen prey already. Interesting. Okay. Show interest? Oh, God. Drinking, torture, superstition, the hog, scar. I want to know about the scar, but I, I don't think I need to know about drinking and or tortures or his super... What about the hog? I don't know any... What about that weird hog that showed up? Why is there a hog in my cell? Like you, it awaits its turn to be tortured. What is that in the... If only it were wait in silence. <laughs> what was the hog's crime? And why did Satan appear to me when I asked about the hog? What's my disgusting cell companion accused of? With sacrilege. The monk who took care of it cut himself with a farming tool. The pig smelled the blood, went wild, and ate him. That's what? murder, not sacrilege. Ah, were it only a murder, it wouldn't be judged by the Inquisition, but by your former father. The monk had just received communion, you see. According to the church, he had Christ's body inside him. So the og received communion by eating the monk. What? <laughs> Taking communion without being baptized is a sacrilege. One common of demons. It's total foolishness, but ours is a foolish world. Uh, what? Blood and skeptic. I now have... Okay, sure. Trials on animals, hog torture shrieks. Oh, God, we are going down this path. All right. Are you crazy? How can the Inquisition judge an animal? This isn't the first time. Months ago, a bunch of termites were judged. They had eaten an altarpiece. The French Inquisition, on its side, got an org to confess a crime after torturing it for days. That really is crazy. Oh, the Inquisition is a magnificent craze. In any case, once you get to know my methods, you will be sure I can coax a confession out of the most silent of stones. So, you're gonna torture this hog then? <laughs> torture the hog so then is definitely on Urban Dictionary. Hog? I will admit, it's not as satisfying as torturing a human being, but we all must do things we don't really like. As soon as I finish with you, I'll start on it. It's very open for a guy who's about to, like, cut you open. I guess that's the point. But if the noise that the hog makes annoys you, how will you be able to torture it? It's true that the crying of a baby would disturb my dreams. But the cries of a baby being torn apart by my own hands would embellish them. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> It's true that farting annoys me, but when it's me own farts, actually, that does it make sense now. It's all starting. I'm starting to understand who Baldino. He and I, not so different, I don't think, except for the murder and stuff. But, like, if you replace murder with farts, very similar. That scar on your face, it's the longest one I've ever seen. A gift from battle from a soldier of that usurper, Don Juan of Portugal. He was taken prisoner. I recognized him and tortured him savagely until death. Huh? I owe him my current vocation. Mm -hmm. Okay, music started back up. The music's back, and it is like, Are you ready for more? You drink all the time. What? Why aren't you drunk by now? Music he gone. who has soldiered long enough becomes immune to alcohol. And crab lice, for that matter, Don Miguel. There are things a man does to forget what he did today and face what he'll do tomorrow. Yep, I don't I don't have a clue what's going on with the music in the background. <laughs> oh, it's back. Either they have done nothing to improve the jankiness of this game over the first one, or it it's Satan. This is all Satan. Where is that file on my desktop? Are you going to torture me? 
yes I am. They'll ask <laughs> questions you have no answer for. Like all prisoners, you'll hang on to a vain hope of survival. It'll take you hours to confess. With a little bit of luck, I'll get to use all my instruments on you. Uh-huh. Let's talk about Iron Maiden. That sarcophagus beside the door is an Iron Maiden, right? Yes. You put the prisoner inside and close the door very slowly. Oh, the agony is long and extremely painful. Uh-huh. Boot? Boot? How does the boot work? You turn the handle to separate the two boards as much as possible. Then you put the prisoner's ankle between them. That sounds awful. All right, my torture. What kind of torture are you going to use on me? Good question. I'll start slow and tender. Toothpicks under your nails, small cuts in your eyelids. Then I'll slowly push the intensity. But as I said, I like you. So confess quickly and you'll avoid most of my torture. I love how <laughs> every time I start a conversation, the music in the background stops because it's like, this is important. But like, not that important that we can't come back every once in a while and like say hello. Uh, superstition. You said Villar de Fuentenegra is a superstitious village. As soon as the word spread that you can understand every language, your neighbors denounced you to the Inquisition. Who's the neighbor to the Duke? It can't be people in his town, right? Why would anyone in the town give a damn, let alone, why would the Duke care what the town thought? Uh, like, was it another Duke? Was it the Duke of Earl? The Duke, Duke, Duke of Earl? Because that guy's a dick. A dick, dick, dick of Earl. Who was in my cell before me? A simpleton who satisfied his onanist impulses during vigil mass. Ooh. The idiot couldn't understand what he was accused of. He didn't have a clue what to confess. Shame, really. Uh, oh. I guess beg for mercy? <laughs> That's my last- uh, Please don't kill me! Oh, for God's sake, have mercy on me. Half a minute ago, you threatened me in the name of Satan. If my soul had any room for mercy, it wouldn't be for you. Cool, cool. I guess I'm done. <laughs> Thanks. Sometimes you will gather useful information that will help you resolve future situations. Yeah, I, I learned about his skepticism and I learned about the pig blood? Question mark? Right trigger to open the info inventory. Alright, so... You swear in vain, Don Miguel. Your menaces don't move me. Unlike the cretins and... Okay, and, and the pig... What's my disgusting cell companion accused of? With sacrilege. Mm. The monk who took care of it. Okay. Alright. Guess we can go away. <laughs> he immediately fell back asleep. That dude was down. Also, how far does this chain go? That far. This exact only this far and no further. Hmm, so what if I want to go here? There must be someone observing you from above because when you step into the light. Ooh. gonna walk away from that <laughs> we're just gonna walk away from that shit hello pig he's got like a pig chain a pig mouth according to the guard its owner was injured when the hog caught a whiff of its blood it went mad and ate him Drool at the prospect of future ham. When was the last time you ate? This pig is so loud. Hey, you're wearing the same type of shackles. Is the Inquisition calling you a pig? Roasted. Oh my god, roast pork. Okay, so that happened. Um, This, I assume, is the ankle thing. A torture instrument known as the boot. You stretch as much as the shackles allow, 
but it's still too far. Oh, I guess it's me trying to grab it. So I can grab that. Question is how? Mm, we got a poker. Could use this iron bar as a weapon if it came to that. I could if I could reach it. If you want that, you must first get rid of those shackles. Mm -hmm. So we've got a pentagram. You've never seen that sign before, but you recognize it instantly. Does it mean you're the devil's son? That piece of cloth is not worthy of a nobleman like you. In any case, the shackles won't let you reach it. <laughs> Damn. Like, that cloth is stupid. Could it contain water to quench your thirst? Unfortunately, you won't know until you get rid of those shackles. Dry blood from a former guest. You better pray to God or the devil you choose. The future guests don't find yours down here. Okay. Old copper. Oh, oh, oh. The dying flames aren't hot enough to heat the massive cauldron. You can't see what's inside from there. Soon to be extinguished. Hmm. You remember watching your father's carpenter build a similar instrument, but what is it for? There's a wooden board with holes in my cell. What's it for? It amazes me that you've never seen the stalks before. The Duke, your former father, must have used it on his vassals very often. Are uh, you sure that's not used for cornhole? So I guess we have to go to this guy? Oh my god. Alonso, the son of your father's cook. Two weeks ago, he left the Duke's house in search of fortune. God knows he found some. A great deal, in fact. But of the worst kind. Bad fortune? I guess it's like when you win the lottery, but horrible stuff happens. Oh, my God. Why would I look at his neck? Is it... No pulse. But the skin isn't completely cold yet. Did they just kill this dude? Poor Alonso. When you were children, you were both caught swapping clothes for fun. Your father scolded you. Alonso couldn't sit down for days. Clothes. Oh. Oh! So you can get out and pretend to be Alonso? Is that the whole point of this? Damn. Okay. He looks similar enough. Also, a scroll just fell down. Although he's a bit older than you, Alonso is... Oops, was. Your same height and build. No pulse. Skin isn't completely cold yet. We got that. Same thing as before. How did he die? Was he sick? Forget all your questions and cheer up. He died so that you can live. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, we'll go back down here and we'll... You open the pouch with care. What's inside must be handled carefully. A frog? There was just a frog in? A demon toad? Of Fuente Negra. The glands on the back secrete a venomous mucus that can cause hallucinations. Throughout the game, you'll pick up objects that can help you advance. One of these objects will cause people to just lose their damn minds. It's a frog. Okay, so that's that. That's that. And I can... Okay. Good. Good to know. It looks like I might play other characters. I assume that's the case. What about the... Um, this scroll. A small roll of parchment. Strangely heavy. Can I just look at it? Whatever it is, it fell or was thrown down the air hole. And it's heavy. The Duke's son must die. The Devil's son must live. Uh, I'm now in The Witcher, apparently. Great. It's Latin. You were never taught to read it, but now you understand it. Cool. Great. A small metal object probably thrown down here to help you escape. The question is... How? I mean, I assume gravity. Oh, you mean how to use it. 
In order to make progress, you have to combine objects in your inventory. Please, for the love of God, tell me I combine the metal rod with this frog. Once you select the hotspot and the inventory items are visible, select the object or info you wish to use with them. You wish to combine two items in the inventory, select them. Press Y to examine your character. Who are you, Miguel? The Duke of Fuentenegra's son? Or the Devil's Offspring? I mean, I'm leaning more towards Devil's Offspring with each passing. Unlike your ducal bedchambers, there's no mirrors down here. But trust me, it's better that way. What's this? I had a uh, pushed, dragged, bashed. Your once elegant garments are now mere rags. It's certainly not a soldier's arm. But that's a soldier's butt. Uh, your ability to use your left and right hands interchangeably is one of the reasons why you're down here. Still, there's a little subtle dirtiness going on here. Does it hurt? You better get used to it, because from now on, you'll be on your knees much more than on your feet. Stop this! Stop this game, you're too dirty! There's my shackles. If your goal is to stay alive, you better get rid of these shackles. Can I... Boop this? You think it might be a key, so you insert in the lock of the shackles, and... Hey! We're doing it. Hell yes. Okay. Now, can I go over here? And take this cloth? Yeah, hell yeah, I'm gonna take that cloth. I'm gonna take this too, right? But, I take it anyway. <laughs> Good! Yeah, damn right I do. The more you see it, the more you think it's the true sigil of your house. Why would I assume that? Why would I make that assumption? Hmm. Sure. I. Yep. Damn right I'm going to take that. Damn right I'll take it. Yeah. What the hell was that noise? As you take it, you pray you'll never have to use it. I'm going to have to use it. We all know that. There's a wooden board with amazing. Yeah, I know. I know. I just want to see if I can use it with something. All right. Let's uh see what's in the top of here. Old copper. It's empty, but smells of oil. Who knows what atrocities it was used for. Could I... Could I... Put a frog in it? If you're caught putting a toad in the cauldron, you'll be judged as both the devil's offspring and a sorcerer. Yeah, but what if I did, though? About to, I don't know, get some pork. Can I cause the, the pig to freak out? Predictably, the hog would eat the toad, but what happens next once the venom affects its brains? That's way less predictable. Am I supposed to kill this fro- this toad? Maybe I use- maybe I use it on the ankle? And I get his ankle? Oh my god, can I set him free? What if it's dangerous? It's killer hog! If you unshackle it and it doesn't find vulnerable prey, it'll attack you! Is that what'll happen? Can hogs become killer hogs? I have seen movies where hogs eat people. Hoggy, hog eaters? No, that's, I think that's a barbecue place. Ow! What? <laughs> Holy shit, that is be, well hold on, what if I beat its head? I, why am I saying that? What the hell's the matter with me? Hogs have great memory, if you're gonna hurt it, don't let your face be the first thing it sees. Okay, great. Can I stoke the fire? Yeah, I heat the tip. Oh shit! Why'd I do that? What? What was the pur What was the purpose of that? Why? <laughs> Why'd I do that? Woo! Oh, he's pissed now. Shot. Oh, cause he hates it. Oh, and there's the oh shit. 
The tank of the guard throws at the hog every time he shrieks. Yes. Um, can I replace it with this? This creepy tankard? How will that help your current situation? What if I do this? Okay. Hold on. Close. We'll go like this. Combine. Yup. With this. Yes. If you rub the venomous toad against the tankard, whoever drinks from it will see ghastly visions. Why would I want to do that? Because it's awesome. Um, no, I don't want to combine that. Why would I want to do that? Can I do this? Because he's a skeptic? Oh, so that's how that works. Also, that might be my favorite animation in the history of animation. Oh, uh, uh, uh. oh come on. Shit. All right. Let's go heat up this thing again. So we'll go down, and then we'll go boop, and we'll heat that up. Yes, yes. Everything's good now. Then we'll torture this poor pig again. Look, pig, it's not, it's, one of us is getting out of here. Maybe he can get out of here too, who knows? He looks so mad, oh my god, he's so mad. Also, that guy's got great aim. No wonder he's on Team Inquisition, they hire the best. Okay, let's uh, do this. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> you big dummy. Okay, I'll go back over here. And we'll just wait. We'll politely wait. Uh oh, okay. And. Alright, dude is definitely feeling something now. Is this just devil? Uh, I like it. I like it. That's the hallucination that got him? As he saw the devil there? Okay. Um can I change clothes? Whoever tossed the corpse down. Yeah, so I need to put his clothes on. Well, I can't do that yet, so I guess we have to go back over here. How you doing? You feeling okay? Show interest. In tortures? Didn't I do that? Are you going to torture me? Yes, I am. They'll ask questions you have no answer for. Right, I got that. Like all prisoners. I got that one. you hours to confess. Yeah. With a little bit of luck. Okay, great. I got that cauldron, wooden board. Yeah, what was the cauldron for? There was oil inside the cauldron in my cell, wasn't there? The usual procedure is to boil the oil and then pour it over the prisoner. I prefer to combine it with metal funnels to fill his orifices. Uh-huh. Wooden board. There's a wooden board with holes in my cell. What's it for? It amazes me that you've never seen the stocks before. The Duke, your former father, must have used it on his vassals very often. Right, the head goes in the big opening, your arms or legs in the small ones. Then it's taken to the public square for public school. Okay, and the stocks, I mean, at this point, I should know, but let's just what do this. What else can you tell me about the stocks? Well... The Stocks is a free torture instrument invented by Sir Richard Stockman. He believes that torture is a common good, a space of possibilities that should be open to the community's creativity. This way, everyone can modify the prisoner's state by forking him or distributing his individuality over him, usually in the shape of fluids, if you take my meaning. Uh huh. So what do I? 
Well, he's not that... He's not that messed up. <laughs> Clearly. Okay, so what do I... Uh-huh. Okay, so... Whatever I'm doing... I am... Something with this stuff, right? So I use the tankard. Although I don't know why I couldn't just poison his original tankard. I guess he would have seen me do it. This scroll has no purpose. This already had a purpose. This does nothing for me right now. What is the reasoning behind this? Try the torture or sweat? I mean, what does that what does that do? Can I look at myself again? I guess why? Ah, oh, yes, that's me. Uh That's where the shackle was. Oh, my foot. Tomorrow, the examine your skin. The tiniest birthmark will be considered proof of your satanic parentage. Unless you manage to escape. Am I trying to... create birthmarks? That doesn't make any sense. Why would that... Can I use the cloth on, like... I can blow my nose with it! And he'll be ever so mad. You must disappear! But in a way that no one will ever think of finding you again. Hiding behind a cloth is just, just might not be enough. Okay. Um. I simply don't know. Maybe I need to create the mark? That seems dumb. Uh. You have to climb a rope to get out of here. Until then, don't hurt my hands. What about my arm? Yo, can I rub this shit on my face? That's a good strategy. Licking the toad's venom has a mind-altering effect that turns you into easy prey for trickery. Do you really want to make things worse? Maybe wrap my wound? No. I simply don't know to do. Uh, maybe like, why would I want to hurt myself though? I don't understand. Let's try it. Why would you want to pierce your arm with those spikes? Don't you see you'd bleed profusely? <gasps> oh shit! That does something. Do I want to bleed into that cup? That seems messed up. Maybe stop the blood? I don't, I don't, I literally don't know. I literally have no clue. Even though the cloth would stop the bleeding, why cut yourself in the first place? That's a great question. What the hell? <laughs> oh! Hold on. I'm gonna close this really quick. Is it as simple as this guy has a scar on his hand or some shit that I need to... See that right up there? I don't... Hmm. How do I... You see those, like... Look at his hand. Is that... I can't tell if, if this is the reason why, but I think it has to be. I think. I honest to God don't know. I can't tell you why we would do this. I don't know what the purpose is, but by God, I'm doing it. Okay. So, we'll do this. We'll add this, and I think the reasoning behind it is this. No, what? Oh, the blood for the pig! Really? Oh, this seems terrible. Well, oh, oh, why, ow, why? Your blood pours out, but the cloth, this is not at all why I thought we'd be doing this. This is, we've reached moon logic phases, what? Sure, okay, now I have a bloody rag? Which I will then give to the pig? Question mark? When smelling your blood, you move the cloth away and wait for it to calm down. If it reaches out with the cloth close to your face, it'll sink its fangs into your skin. 
Why would I want why would I want that? Maybe because it will smell the blood on this dude? I truly, truly don't know. Maybe put the blood on him. Yeah, when you want chocolate, it'll eat all. Oh my god. However, oh, but he won't know because, yeah, oh shit. Genius. Genius. The reasoning is because the pig. Nope. Because the close. Nope. Because the guard. Because the devil? <laughs> yeah? The hallucination will make the skeptical guard believe the satanic cog has devoured your face, which in turn will stop him from investigating further. So. Prepare to die, son of the duke. Oh, he's so smug. Like, yes, I'm a genius. This is pretty genius, if not the craziest damn thing I've ever seen. Okie dokie, here we go. And then someone was just waiting the entire time, like, just hurry it up, man. Whoa! I think I fought that guy in Diablo 3 once. Holy shit. As Satan's son, you'd better get used to all kinds of creatures, even my good Ursus. Now we must leave. No, I need you to answer some questions first. Only one. The rooster is about to crow. Only one? Alonso's death, Satan's son, destination. I literally, I get one question and these are my questions? Why rescue me? It's gonna be like, you'll see. Identity, who are you? I guess we'll find that out later. Satan's son? Destination? Where's the questions? Like, what the hell is this after the first game? I have so many questions! Oh my god. Um. I don't know. Uh. I guess why shit. Why are you helping me? I seek for knowledge, Miguel. Your gift for languages is the key I need. You're satisfied? No, not yet. Oh, great, cool. <laughs> Why is your face so poorly rendered compared to mine? Uh, identity. Who are you? My name is Gines de Oduña, and I belong to the Order of Minor Monks of St. Francis. Come here, I beg you. I haven't saved your life. I've granted you a new one, and I beg you, make good use of it. I... I'm sorry. I think I owe you an apology, Tona. Your only duty is to mount that horse right now, or all three of us will perish. That was the intro, huh? I still don't know what <laughs> is going on. What? What? <laughs> what? Yep, this is exactly where I thought we'd be. I figured we'd end up in Paris. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots! We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots! Out of that town, we're in the games. 
Bring the strippers and boots. Oh, thank God. I don't need pants now. Hey, JC. What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a professional broadcast. Yeah, now sing the music. It's a professional broadcast. Bring the strippers and boots. It's a professional broadcast. Now here's to ask and answer one simple question. It's a professional broadcast. You 